The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Washington State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He's taken down at the 38. Man, that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Number six brings him down at the 49-yard line. First down. Three down. Motion, motion, motion. Motion, motion, motion. Slings it out and it gets tipped. That makes it second and ten. He stopped immediately. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Just throws this one away. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. And this one is a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Brought down around the 31-yard line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. From their own 31-yard line, third down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Red two. He lets it fly. He caught it. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. What a play. What a play is right. Here they throw the ball to the tight end, and the big guy shows that he's valuable not only as a blocker, but as a receiver as well. Nice catch. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. They'll bring him down around the two-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That brings him second and goal. Watch 14, watch 14. It'll be a long day for you. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Red two, orange three. Tackle at the one-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it third and goal. We've got third and goal. 14, One yard to the goal line. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. Dog. And 
he's tackled around the one yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That ends up fourth and goal. Quick pitch, and he goes nowhere. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. Well, the offense looked like they wanted to bounce the ball to the outside. But this defense just has too much speed. It did a good job of shutting off the edge and preventing the ball carrier from getting to the first down. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And he is drilled at the 14. It's an out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at the 16 yard line. That makes it first and 10. There's the strike complete, and they make the stop around the 22-yard line. Number 23 brings him down at the 22-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled right around the 30. That's a gain of eight on the play. First down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Nice play, nice play. Number 28 with the tackle at the 36 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Second and four. Alert, alert. Check 50, check 50. And a quick throw. He's taken down around the 48 yard line. Number 32 on the tackle at the 48 yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. And he's taken down at the 40. Number 23 brings him down at the 40 yard line. That brings him second and one. Strike to his receiver, no good. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Got a man, watch out here. And down he goes, right around the 20. With the reception, that's a gain of 15 on the play. First down. Throws it in a hurry. And he tackles him hard at the 14-yard line. Number 32 with the tackle at the 14-yard line. That brings him second and five. Big opening! A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. You talk about a masterpiece. This offense right now is working exactly the way they had planned all week long. You put in so much time as an offensive coordinator, as an offensive staff. What you... Nice move, and he scores. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he tacks on the extra point. A 14-play, 93-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 7-0. Washington State gets set to kick this one away.
He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Makes it out to about the 39. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Cougars in front, 7-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. Go. Mike, Mike, 51, Mike, 51. Red, two, X, He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. to the wide out and he can't pull it in. Get him in the backfield for a loss. Number 42 tackles him in the backfield to 45 yard line. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. Booming kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Washington State is up a score. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Number 32 makes the tackle at the 29-yard line. That brings up second and one. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. That's a First down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. They'll bring him down at the 41 yard line. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. Fires out to his wideout. That's a D of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Down, Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. And they'll lose a yard there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's tackled in the open field. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. First down. Again, he'll get the call. Ball is loose, fumble, and the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. And he's level at the 22-yard line. Great example of an opportunistic defense coming up with the fumble. They're 
hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. He's going to air it long. A junior makes the catch. Tackle at the 28-yard line. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Makes it to the 14. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. Defense has had two stops already down here. run and he's brought down Oregon State just took their first time out about two minutes before halftime touchdown Beavers This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice five-play, 78-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big runs. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 23. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. hit and taken down. Washington State's going to take their first time out of the half. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires it out and he's tackled at the 47 yard line. Number 28 brings him down at the 47 yard line. First down. made the 37 yard line with the reception probably gain of 16 yards first down and he's hit before he can go anywhere gain of 10 that'll make it second in inches Washington State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 18-yard line, first down. Go! 225! Go! 225! And that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. That makes it first and goal. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A 
seven play, 77 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Call it a loss of six yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. I'm coming. Dog four. Go. He's under pressure. It's a fumble recovered by the defense. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Gets out to about the 21-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Gets to about the 41-yard line. The Cougars, over the years, have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them because, it's again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership. And that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. From their own 41-yard line, second down, Washington State is up seven. Got his receiver, but it's knocked down. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He airs it out. Almost intercepted. So we played two quarters. The Cougars in front, 14-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step rep, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but... Could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. I mean, you see great defenses be able to do that all the time, and, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play you know, the game out of their comfort zone. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. out of bounds at about the 33 yard line so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go very solid gain through the air i'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football and he's taken down around the 45 yard line to be successful you've got to be able to come through on third down and that's just what they did with that big run Receiver dropped it incomplete. From their own 45 yard line, it's second down. He's under pressure. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's tackling at the 45. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it 31. Third down again. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. Go, Mike 51, Mike 51. Black five, black five. Green 15. I need one over here. Go. I need one over here. Go. He's taken down at about the 43 yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. the stop right around the 32 yard line from the 32 yard line first down and down he goes at the 17. This is the ninth play of the current drive. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 19-yard line. Run there. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And he's immediately tackled. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Oregon State is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Get to that quickly. Brought down around the 48-yard line. That's a First down. He's going to try and scramble. Fumble. Picked up by the defense. They work hard and they got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Makes the grab past the marker. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. From midfield, it's first down. Setting up play action. He fires left side. Tipped away. Well defended that time. You're right. Great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance, and getting in the way of that pass. Here comes the pressure. And they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. Three down, three down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Red two. The 40 yard line. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Oh, excellent punt. Tackle at the 12. Not a great return there. Boy, he got a hold of that ball. This punter has a big time leg, and you can see that when he gets a hold of a ball like that. It really goes. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. He's wrapped up for the sack. So the sack makes this a second and long. Throws it in a hurry. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That makes it fourth and nine. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count.
takes it to the 41. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. They go to the run and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. So at the end of the third quarter, we're deadlocked right now at 14. We played three quarters even. Fourth quarter is going to tell the difference. They'll take it inside, but the defense is ready. No gain on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Receiver's got the first down, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 27. That makes it first and 10. quarterback today the pass protection has got to do a better job but give this defense some credit they've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems here we go. Oh! they find themselves in a hole here after that sack it's second and long to his tailback. Tackle made at the 32. Call, Call it a gain, gain of three yards. yards. That, that brings, brings up third, third and 14. 14. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. Set up a first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Now he's scrambling. And they got it. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. It's second and goal. Nine yards to the goal line. Four down, four down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Here we go, here we go. Easy, easy. Boo, 20. Go! Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Loss of four on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is the tenth play of this drive. Less than three minutes in the game. And oh man, he can't get it over the line. That is a loss of one yard. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Washington State still got a chance here. They might come up short, but not for lack of trying. Well, I've been impressed with this team the entire way. Now we're going to really find out what they're made out of. With the game on the line, late in the ball game, how do you go out and execute? Tack on any yardage. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Two 
Strike to his receiver, no ball. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 30. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has an awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under two to go in the game. And he's tackled around the 17-yard line. The defense might have just run out of chances with that first down right there. This offensive line definitely left it all on the field today. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The Cougars use their second timeout. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. They go with a run. Tackle at the 11-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. To the end zone! This isn't much more than an extra point. It's up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Washington State's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. They're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. He's got it out to his tight end, and he's hit immediately. Stops the clock with a spike. From their own 28-yard line, third down, a little over a minute in the game. Once and all, going deep. It's the sophomore that's got it. To the 10. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Number six. That makes it first and goal. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. That brings him second and goal. They bring him down in the backfield. Slings it. He's tackled right around the four-yard line. Looks middle. Got his back. The ball is loose. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. This one's all but wrapped up. 
The Beavers come out on top, 20 to 14. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Wow. They were sweating bullets on that sideline because this would not have been an easy loss to live down. Even as it is, a win this close can be seen as a negative. Oregon State found themselves in a far stiffer fight than anybody imagined. If they didn't think much of these guys before the game, they must have a ton of respect for them now. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.